Thanks very much, Lassie Cancorla, and thanks, Minister, for the opportunity to make a few points. Uh, like uh, Deputy Moynan, I, I'll just be making a statement and, and ask that you, you take the points on board. Um, the first thing, um, I, 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 I want to make about three points. The first one is you made the point that, 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 that our role is to make policy. Um, our, our role is a little bit more than that. Uh, our role is to lead and to provide leadership at what is a very, very difficult time effective of the frontline workers, be they cashiers or shelf packers at retail outlets, or our heroic healthcare professionals, frontline Gardaí, and so on. Um, and uh, it's that that's missing a little bit. And I understand your difficulties on the loaves and fishes side and so on, and I'll deal with that in a second. The second issue is communications. Too many cooks. We have yourself and the Taoiseach trying to get a message out. We have Leo Varadkar as Thornish throwing in a well-timed torpedo now and again. We have 30 members of NEFIT, all with their own individual uh, media careers at this stage, plus the weekly announcement or the nightly announcements of figures and so on. We have about 30 other uh, medical academics and professionals on media. Uh, we have TDs, we have commentators, we have journalists. So uh, that's adding to the polarization of society. That is adding to the anxiety that all of us have in the context of this ongoing nightmare. Uh, and that's something uh, that needs to be addressed. I'm saying it to the Taoiseach even before he was Taoiseach. I said it last night at our own meeting, uh, and I'm putting it on record here today. You need to control the narrative with the truth uh, and not have anybody with a profile adding or deducting from that in a government setting. So you, the Taoiseach. Uh, not uh, others, not 30 members of NEFIT, not 30 academic uh, uh, qualified people uh, adding or deducting uh, from the facts of the matter. The third thing is <clears throat> you said uh, that NIAC decide. Last week I read into the record an email to a transplantee where NIAC said crystal clear, and I'll provide the email to you uh, later today, uh, that they do not determine who's on the list, and I think that's a problem. As a result, all of us in public life at the moment have email after email, call after call, text after text, social media message after social media message, saying, what about this group, what about that group? And they're all, uh, uh, they're all worthy of that. I mean, the transplantees is a major one. These people have cocooned their families along with them for obvious reasons since last March, uh, and they don't know where they are. This morning, uh, the Association of Undertakers those who have no choice but to go in and out of various houses uh, to care for the deceased and their families at the moment, they have no visibility uh, on what uh, the situation uh, is going to be. Um, so um, we need to be uh, much clearer about that. Uh, and there is ambiguity around it, I'm afraid. Uh, the third thing is vaccine supply. And again, I've said it every week. Um, Europe have failed us on this. An anecdotal evidence suggests we were uh, coming to the queue late because if we put our eggs, European eggs, they are, into one basket in the development of a French vaccine that hasn't materialised just yet. So we were coming late to the queue with Pfizer, coming late to the queue with Moderna, uh, and AstraZeneca later again to the extent that it suggests that in what was a very fraught Brexit negotiations environment that we were uh, passively leaving anything which was associated with Britain to last. So last night, and I know it's in the media today, but unfortunate comments that uh, I immediately withdrew last night, and of course apologise again for any offence that was caused. Uh, but the point is a real one. Wherever there is a viable vaccine that's safe available, we need to be at the table. Now, uh, I might not like the idea personally of dealing with Russia on, on, on products, but if they have a vaccine that's safe, then let's talk to them. The UAE approved their vaccine. Hungary seemed to have gone off and tried to do a unilateral deal. So whoever has a vaccine to put an end to this misery, we want their assistance and we want to be at the table. Very finally, whether it's 40,000 a week at the moment or the 100,000 a week speculated by Tornish to Varadkar yesterday evening in terms of numbers of vaccinations, we're looking at a full year of this. Now, a full year of lockdowns is not acceptable, and therefore we must look at seriously limiting north-south access, other than those that have to have it, and seriously limited who can come in and leave the country. So that within the country, when we do flatten the curve, we can get back to some level of normal life in Thanks, the interest Deputy. of the mental health of our entire nation. Thank you. Thank you.